Hi, Troy Gladstone for RevTech Copper Piping Solutions. If you're like most HVAC and plumbing contractors today, you're trying to bid jobs competitively enough to win them in an environment where skilled labor is more scarce than ever. If you're lucky enough to win the project, you're dealing with a lot of labor and material overruns due to a shortage of skilled labor. You've got a lot of callbacks from compressor failures and you're basically chasing leaks forever. It's getting more and more difficult to sell profitable work. This is why RevTech was created. RevTech's system of bendable copper piping saves over 80% of field braises. It virtually eliminates fittings. And if you don't have fittings, you eliminate leaks and it greatly reduces the installed cost of VRF, plumbing, and refrigerant systems. Let's bring in a true industry expert to get his opinion on RevTech. Joining us now is Logan Snyder. Logan, will you take a moment and tell us about your background and what you think about the RevTech piping solutions? Absolutely, Troy. So I grew up in the HVAC industry. My father and my grandfather had a company here in Colorado. I grew up doing things like brazing, soldering, welding, working on HVAC, working on plumbing. And I've seen what the industry's done. I've seen the evolution of the industry. I've been in it my entire life. Um, I've also been an instructor since I was 18 here at Red Rocks Community College where we're filming this video. Um, what we're gonna do today is we're going to compare traditional brazing methods using brazing, fittings, oxyacetylene, traditional nitrogen purging, the way that I grew up doing this. We're gonna compare that pipe layout to a pipe layout that we did with the RevTech bendable pipe. We're gonna compare those two, see what kind of labor savings we get, what kind of material savings we get, what kind of uh, risk reduction we get. We're gonna take a look at all of these things, watch the actual layout get put together using both methods, and then we'll revisit here at the end. All right, cool, let's see how it goes. Hi, here we are again with Logan and a new guest, Amanda. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Troy. So for the next exercise, what we're gonna do is we're gonna build a simple um, but kind of complex copper piping layout. And we're gonna do it using the traditional method of hard copper and brazes. Logan will be doing that. And Amanda, who is a paid actress, will be doing it using the RevTech's new system of tools and bendable copper. Before we get started, Amanda, I know you're an actress, but do you have any type of experience that would ideally suit you for this type of work? Absolutely none. Oh, okay, all right, great. Well, let's see how this goes. The RevTech system is more than just the bendable copper, which in itself is amazing. It consists of the app, which you can download on any phone, which Amanda's using to specifically tell her where to make cuts and where to make bends. Then she uses the RevTech DigiBender, which is a precision tool that'll make the bends on the pipe, even accounting for insulation thickness and tube thickness. Then she'll move next to what is the, the RevTech swage tool. And the swage tool perfectly expands the end of the pipe to accept the brazing ring, which a brazing ring is new in this industry. It's a perfectly proportioned amount of brazing compound, uh, making the brazes much, much quicker and we traditionally do it and much, much more effective. So here she's finishing up in 10 minutes, which is absolutely astounding. And we've sped Logan up to the point that he's finished his job in 60 minutes. So the results are really staggering. So a fraction of the time, she has no braises on her system, no cuts, no experience. The materials are uh, a fraction and the labor is even a smaller fraction. Not to mention the end product is far superior. Wow, that was amazing. With just about a half hour to an hour with training from Logan, Amanda was able to complete her piping layout in literally a fraction of the time that you did, Logan. What are your takeaways from this? Well, I have several, Troy. Uh, the first, as you mentioned, labor savings. It was astounding how fast she got this piping layout completed. Second would be the material savings. I had six fittings, 10 brazes, oxygen, acetylene, nitrogen purging. The amount of materials added up very quickly. She had little to none of that in hers. The third takeaway for me um, is revolved around risk reduction. I've been brazing most of my life. I'm very good at it. Even I understand that less fittings, less brazes, less joints equals less potential for leaking. Her system has no joints whatsoever. 
Uh, the last takeaway for me that was very important was the fact that we were able to take Amanda, a paid actress with no experience in this field, no experience with these tools, and we were able to, with, as you said, an hour's worth of instruction, get her field ready and out producing me, a seasoned technician that's been doing this work for my entire life. Yeah, you know, that's super important because with today's labor shortage that we have in the trades, the ability to get apprentices or new technicians up and running out in the field, building systems is, is huge, it's really important. Amanda, what did you think about this exercise? I thought it was fairly easy. I never felt uncomfortable with it. I was completely safe and it was a lot of fun. There you have it. Our little experiment in this laboratory setting showed dramatic results comparing the traditional method of hard copper and brazing versus RevTech's innovative bendable copper with their specialized tools. Imagine that being your crew out on your job site, saving hundreds of hours, tons of material, and the risk mitigation that you've got. It'll be amazing. Well, you actually don't have to imagine it because contractors all over the country are doing it today. RevTech is not a new product. It's been around. And for you to learn more, check out these videos and follow our links below to our websites. Thank you.